Hello everyone, Jack here from Second Gear and welcome yourselves over to the Stanley Parable and we are after another dance with our wonderful narrator who I do enjoy his ramblings ever so much. We've got a couple of endings to, um, or a couple of storylines to try out this time around. I've gone onto the Stanley Parable wiki, not to spoil it, but just for the map so we can just see the title of the ending and there's a few I want to try. Number one is actually obeying all, all of, of um, workers were gone. What could it mean? I don't know. Stan what could it mean? to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So we're going to obey everything he says, except for when we get down to the mind control, because Shadow actually and requested Stanley this as well. Set of two open doors. Oh he crap! He's going to pause me for left. rushing, isn't he? Uh, yeah. Instead of going to the mind control device and clicking off, we're going to click on just to see what happens. Yes, there was not because Shadow did request it inside the stream on Sunday, I think. Disbelief. Broom closet. Decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might find an answer there. I want to go down just to, to just to have that insanity Stanley ending again. To his boss's office. All right, I think I still actually remember the uh, code as well. Oh no, we can't go in there. All right, this is one hell Standing of an office, though, isn't it? Office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not Two, an indication eight, of any four, human five. life. Shocked? Oh but my Stanley god, I do! In such a rush to get through the story as quickly as possible, he didn't even have a single minute to just let the narrator talk. How no! That kind of anxiety isn't healthy, so he relaxed for a few moments with some, with calming, some calming music. I'm pretty sure this is actually kind of quite a chilled out song, isn't it? Nope, I'm mistaken. That was uh, last time on the Adventure Line, when we had like the adventurous music that just Feeling wouldn't soon shut up. And rejuvenated, Stanley calmly walked forward into nope, the we ran. Passageway. Okay, we've got to go left, we've got to go down, straight through all of the uh, reactor room and everything, and literally we're just there to click one button. But there's a couple of endings that sound like they could be quite cool. I love the uh, Marella, Mariella ending, which was the insanity one, when it just shows Stanley like dead in the street and then some random businesswoman finding his corpse, into the building, pondering it for a second and running off to a meeting. A bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now? When for years it had never occurred. Because the mind control is malfunctioning. Would not go unanswered for long. No. I wish this narrator did more work for more st Stanley for more games, but he could. Through the it would kind of ruin the immersion. I think. Facility. All right, now we get all of the weird monitors. I forgot how long this ending actually is. I honestly thought we were about to go inside of the um, the watchman who's at the reactor place. Packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? Well, yes, because we've done this before, Mr. Narrator, but you don't remember, do you? Same as, like, uh, last time we found out that you get force reset now, if you fuck up too many times. Life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. I want to know why number 104 over there the got fired. so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley... One of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. It's like, seriously, with all the employees mind controlled, how the hell can you fuck up your job and get fired? It makes no this sense. Mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't Two be. 5, 601, and Had 104. Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Probably was an Easter egg for something. He was happy with his boring job? that his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly. Whip. All right, take me no. to the reactor. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable, wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? Yes. Yes, he did. Here was the proof. All right, facility the power. The operation. Controls labeled with Sorry if it feels like I'm rushing, but some of these endings do sad, take quite a long content, time, like we know with the uh, walking, insanity and confusion eating, ending. Working, it took it quite a damn while. Commanded from this very place. All right, we're here. As the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Will we, though? I bet the uh, narrator's gonna have a shit fit, isn't he? On. Oh, Stanley. 
You didn't just activate uh, the controls, did you? Yeah. Oh, kept you enslaved all these years. You go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Life oh, is nothing but control. I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go. Turn the controls off and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than <laughs> Oh, that. you sassy I'm narrator. you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's oh, come emergency on. detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Hmm, let's say um, two minutes. Ah, now this is making really? it a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It's your time to shine. You um, are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. Well, shut but up what and tell me. Precious we moments each one of them is. More time to talk about you. About me, where we're going, what all this means. I barely know where to start. What's that? You'd like to know where your co workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated. All right, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. I erased them, I turned off the machine, I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing <laughs> buttons endlessly and then dying alone. You sick but Oh, there's time, a door! There's I a let door! I the sink into the ground, swallowing everyone inside, or I let it burn. Son of a crisp. I have to say this, though. This version of events has been rather amusing. Watching you try to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. You sadistic sure bastard. Whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. But I'm enjoying this so much. Doesn't he know he's going to die to too? I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Ooh. These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. What if I just press off? Oh dear me, what's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right now? Or did you just nope. assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley. You're in for quite a disappointment. There is actually nothing we can do now. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. To see you made humble. This is not a challenge. It's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. You're just having a bloody tantrum. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here. Just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life? Or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. And There's just... Me, I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from the moment we fade in until the moment I say... One. Happily ever up. Ha! You didn't get to finish. There goes your control too, because you can control when you wanted the sentence to finish. Alright, so that's what happens when, you, when we press L on on the uh, mind control device. Alright, one ending down. About four, five more to go. We'll see how we go. But next one is the coward ending, which is pretty simple. Done. Stanley simply couldn't <laughs> handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. 
No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed, then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. You know, but other than the clock. for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Or the dates on so, the forms? There's got to be dates on the now, forms. This will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. And that's the coward ending. Short, simple, sweet. What can you do? Alright, I'm just going to have to pause real quick so I can have a look at the map. A uh, museum ending, we've done that. Uh, Mariella story, we've done that. Confusion, we did that. Phone ending, okay. Alright, let's go. We're gonna go down to the All warehouse. All co-workers were gone. What bum, 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 Stanley bum. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Alright, left door, right door. Uh, but we've got to go to the cargo lift. I don't remember there being a cargo lift. This was uh, cargo not the direct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Okay, uh, I know where to go. Yes, All right, never mind. A room worth admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open. You remember door that um, elevator we jumped off in the very first run through of Stanley Parable? Am I in the right? Yeah. First door to the left. I said no. Went through to the Stanley warehouse. Was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Okay, so Look, Stanley, before, I think oh god, we've gotten off on the wrong Before we here. we jumped down onto there and went through that door. Really, whereas we've got to go up there. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. That's because you're a narrator. I'm the main character, my good friend. Stanley, someone you've forgotten about. Please stop trying to make every decision by yourself. But it's I'm called the Stanley Parable. Me. I'm asking for her. This is it, Stanley. For your her. chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Whoa. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. To reach out to her. This feels like if the you Matrix. Can truly place your faith in another. Answer the phone. I can't be bothered to listen to his ramblings at the moment. He's being ominous. This ending has something. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, shut up. He has not got a wife. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? You sick they want to bastard. Commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. All right. But is this actually my apartment, or are you just lying this again? This is a very sad story about the death of a man named Stanley. Good morning, employee 247. Press U on your keyboard. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown. Fantastic that is our desk, though. Of new lands. It was wonderful. <laughs> and each day Me that wife. he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day while at work, he stepped up from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, 
everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the well, earth. Well, we know that you erased the them now. Excited him terribly. He to spend time with the boys. So he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. That's kind of sad. G to prepare dinner. As he wandered through Filing this cabinets. fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. Tell your kids a story. It was such a wonderful what else fantasy. Changed? And so in his head, he relived it again. And then again. And again. Over and over. Wishing beyond hope that it would never end. That he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Eight to tell your wife you love her. But there is no nope. answer. <laughs> How could there possibly be? In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. Three to go to sleep, and then... And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it. I'm actually really tempted now. It's not going to do anything until I press it, will it? It's actually going to make me wait until... Fine. Fine, I got nothing but time. Bring it on, narrator. Oh, uh, you remember that baby game we played in uh, the first run-through of this? Well, there is actually a secret ending to that that takes, quite literally, four hours. Four hours. If you want to see it, yeah, I'm not invested in this game enough to spend four hours... Pressing a button repeatedly. Come on, narrator. Don't just leave me here. Please. Oh, come on. Fine. Press C to be at the you work see, in the morning. Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? What you want? How can me I leave? Get him to see what I see? How can I make him Do look at himself? Do you see what I see? J, um, uh, press J to question nothing. I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. But you're not going to be able to. Well, maybe this time you'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. Please die. Stanley pushed the button. <laughs> and I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. Alright, we've got one more ending to run through. I'm pretty sure this is the end of that ending. Oh, that's a weird bottle. I know, that didn't feel nice to say that's the ending of that ending. Alright, this ending is simply called Not Stanley. Sounds interesting. Uh, looks like we're going to take the right door and go into the cargo room. All of his co-workers were gone. What All could right. mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Ooh. Okay, we've literally, by the looks of things, we've got to go back to exactly where we were before we uh, picked Stanley up the phone. Stanley came to a set of two. Uh, of them, no. This was not the correct way to No, the it was not. Room. Shut and up. Stanley knew it perfectly well. No, I've had enough Perhaps of your shit. Why did you the please die? First, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. It's depressing as hell. To back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Nope. No, I did not. This ending actually sounds quite Stanley um was so quite bad interesting. Following not Stanley. It's incredible he wasn't five years ago. So penalty for jumping off the cargo lift five thousand don uh, dollars. <laughs> dollars. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift one thousand dollars. 
Look, Stanley, I think perhaps Did anyone hear about that 80 year old man in England uh, recently who really, beat two swans to death? He got charged £7,000. But the fact is that the story I'd say that needs more. You because, like, time. quite seriously, the There's swans weren't even doing anything. Stuff. They were just on his land. And for those that don't know, it's actually illegal to kill Stop or consume a swan unless you're the Queen of England. Quite literally. Me. She it, she owns all of the swans in England. This is it, Stanley. Your I know, kind of weird, right? To put your work aside. All right. To let her back into your life. She's been waiting. Oh God! I walked right through That's the phone. Her, Stanley. Nope. Oh no 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 no! You can't. Did you just <laughs> unplug the phone? Yes. Well, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? You actually <laughs> chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. No. I love it when he checks Stanley all of his sources. Clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Not <laughs> picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How what? have I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <laughs> <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you'd made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Oh, Please seriously? This helpful instructional video. Oh, God, no. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if I'm used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, <laughs> in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. What? Which choice would you make? Remember Second one. that unlike here, I'm the kidding. real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. <laughs> why? Practice, really? Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, Whoa, welcome what back. The... You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. But yes, I'm sure it's my now fault. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This that way, video please, was, um... Educational, I guess. So we've got to go back to a choice we made a few minutes ago. I'm guessing it's going to be the two doors. Well, frankly, that is actually the only choice we made. Well, choice made so far. Know your choices are meaningful. Oh, wow, there's actually a railing. Jumping off the platform and dying. Damn it. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through Wait, we've never just That's tried jumping off of this. Sense at all. We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative contradiction gets any worse. Unfortunately, <laughs> it seems this place is not well equipped to deal with reality. So you're telling me this place is just a fabric of someone's imagination? Which you've already uh, told us is actually mine. I don't believe you. 
and right, I guess we just follow the doors. Wasn't that the uh, first step we were meant to take through maintenance to get back to the boss's office? Or the boss's office route, even. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. I might have to fuck with him and go take the right door again. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I really want to fuck with him and go for the right, but you know, I'll indulge him. We'll go left. Really? Nothing? Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office hoping he might find an answer there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. But, but what about the downstairs to the insanity ending? You can't just take out and change the route. Come on, let me fuck with you some more. Please? It's always fun to hear you go... Okay, the this office is different too. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated what? this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it still work? There was only one way to find out. Why is there a Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath, and then spoke the code. Why is there a picture of a guy with a gun to a baby panda's face? I want to put a gun to his face and shoot him. You don't touch baby pandas, are you sick? <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Night Shark 115. Right there on the wall. Night Shark 115? I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please speak the code into the receiver. But you just Otherwise said we've been we trained not to talk. Story. This is a crucial step. I can't do anything. Okay, fine. You're not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. If you didn't want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. <laughs> All right, we broke him again. Behave exactly as Stanley would. Ah. That means choosing All right, we're back here. Okay, so we we indulge and we went to the left. So sure you'll be up to the task. Just we're gonna go down here again. You'll be fine. All right. It's gonna be <clears> fucked <throat> up. We already know when it is. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. All right. Door on the right. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Okay. So you're not going to talk to me anymore. That's it. <sighs> Alright. Well, we'll go left then. I guess. Bom, 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 bom. Oh, it's ruined. For God's I sake. I believe after everything we talked about that you... My story. You've destroyed my work. Why? <laughs> For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. What the hell what was that noise? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. 
I have to shut the game down. I have to. <laughs> I have to. No, you're not. Oh, God. Okay. Holy shit, this has been going for 30 minutes. Whoa. I think you didn't do the uh, restart properly. Oh, I'm, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Now look where <laughs> we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even he occurred to you. sounds like tears of you, grace. That there's a world when outside he's calm. of you. You're a child. Oh. My story. <laughs> if you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Uh, when Stanley came oh. to the set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Does it actually show me? Or is this like just an Hello? outside perspective? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is oh, he actually there? sounds sad. Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Well, oh, bless him. Just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story he actually needs. sounds sincere. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure... Aren't you feel kind of bad now? The best choice. That's alright. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. Quiet, you. So is that... Is that it? Obviously it just came up with the end. Yep, okay, that's it. Alright, so that's the not Stanley ending. Fair enough. Right, guys, that's going to do it for this session for the Stanley Parable. Sorry that it's a bit of a long one, but I, well, I honestly didn't know how long the, these endings would actually be. And I honestly thought we had time for that last one, but it seemed to have been a little bit longer than I anticipated. Either way, thank you all for watching, guys. If you are so enjoying this little mini-series, be sure to show some love down below by dropping a like. Let me know what you thought about those endings in the comment section down below. If you got any more that you really want me to do, like Shadow wants me to press on on the mind control device. If you have anything else, please let me know as well in the comments. But, yep, thank you all for watching. Until next time, I shall see you all later.